Hi, this is Shadi. Today we're gonna be discussing one of my all-time favorites, Katsuhiko Kashiwazaki. We're gonna be visiting his book, Fighting Judo, and you're gonna see that a lot of the techniques you've already seen, but I'm just gonna put them out there for historical clarification. It's very important because a lot of us me included in some aspects our knowledge goes back to at maximum 20 years and we should know that things are far older and far more interesting than they actually are and I just wanna thank everyone who sends me materials and links I will link the book in the description for you to enjoy it fully and you're gonna see there are some really nasty submissions that are banned for a very good reason but yet it doesn't hurt pun intended to look at them so first one is an arm lock from an uchimata attack so you go from one side a lot of people would take the sleeve uh, from the tip and the armpit and go for something like sumigaishi or any other type of uh, throw but here you chop down and launch your leg much like an uchimata but to finish you actually bend them over with this and then you launch your leg above their shoulder so now you have an arm lock and then you fall to your side and they will fall almost face first and this is where you extend your hips and finish it off this if i'm not mistaken you can still actually do it uh, because you're not jumping you're not uh, flying and certainly uh, but you have to be careful because they may say that the lock started standing up and then you fell with it and then you destroyed the arm so maybe maybe not do it because if the arm is between your legs then the referee will have a hard time judging so this is very reminiscent of this type of one arm uchimata by endo in 1974 against Sato where he immediately jumps launches his leg he was going for a waki gatame but here you you remain standing and you take it to the other side for an arm lock clearly the referee will have very little tolerance to it but um, if you can do it standing up and then take it down to the ground something else but it's gonna be very difficult next one is this one arm Tomoenage, we all know he's a specialist with this very beautiful technique and a lot of times when you are stuck with right versus left and people just don't want to give their uh, sleeve that's when you can do very much like what we do today with kataguruma type of grip where you have the tip of the sleeve and either the lapel or a right at the top of the tricep and you go down and then you go down you block the leg so they kind of like coil and then they rotate above that point and you can launch them from one side and you can have the surprise element to this tomoinage right versus left it can be tricky because you can shoot from far away and it can be a bit complicated so anyone who wants to do sutemi make sure your neiwaza is at least decent because you risk quite a lot so next i just want to point out this ashi jime uh, this is your classical what we call kanto choke and like i said a lot of our knowledge sometimes just dates back to maximum 20 years i just want to say that this book is from 1984 and in the kodokan uh, repertoire or nomenclature this would fall technically under okuri eri jime but this idea to take the lapel and then use the leg to press it also dates back to the kawaishi days but here you see kashiwazaki again uh, re putting it in his book and uh, demonstrating it himself now this part blew my mind the first one on the left kani jime scissors choke many jujitsu guys know it you grab the lapels uh, you don't cross your arms you grab a lapel from both sides scissor the head and then you extend uh, scissoring the head is very dangerous uh, in judo it is prohibited however the next one on the right 
koshi jime, which means hip strangle. From the position, I was a bit surprised why is it called this way, but as you can see, you cross your arm and to get the lapel, the far lapel, and then you cross uh, over the back like a Georgian grip to get the belt. So you pull them in, and then you press uh, as if you are closing uh, the gap on your armpit, and then you have the collar and you extend your hips, strangling them. Brilliant and very much invisible. And uh, now the next one, Suso Jime, also again, very dangerous banned for a for a while now I believe and we all know it as the uh, Gerby choke where she would take her own lapel from her own jacket and wrap it around here you see the world championship finals against Clarisse now we do what we call the Peruvian necktie without the uh, our own lapel but the lapel of the opponent here you see it is very difficult to come out of and Clarice surely went unconscious. Um, it is banned, and it because it it just shows so much control, and uh, it can be quite strict and tough immediately. So, the next one is obijime, so belt strangle. You take your own belt, you wrap it around the neck, and then you uh, take one of the arms, you wrap it with your legs, and or you hook your leg around the arm. And then from there, you can extend your hips. If you think about it, it is a very, it's a very tough choke because the belt by default is close to your hip. So you have to keep in mind that anything that's close to you, you're going to have far more control and you're going to be much stronger. This is why something like uh, Gerb, na, uh, Suso Jime or Obi Jime, uh, they're banned because they can exude far more intensity than a regular collar strangle but here you see the obijime first of all the the belt is a much thinner texture than the lapel and wrapping it around the neck and close to your hips where you can easily extend them just a bit you don't need much that can be uh, immediately taking someone out and also the thinner the belt is quite thin so you can actually even cut to the neck so and many things can actually happen with this is it very dangerous you have to tap immediately but uh, in competitions someone's eager to win etc it can be quite close so hey who knows um, I'm not the specialist but as you can see it's like taking regular techniques and just driving them you know, by 100 points more. So if you have anything to add, let me know down below. Book will be in the description. This was Shadi, and thank you for listening.